Well, we have David here. He's in the museum. Looks like he's cleaning something. Yeah. What you doing? What is this thing? Well, you, you, uh, you were there. We went to Book Nook uh -huh. today. Book Nook in Georgia. And they have a couple of locations, and they have you know they they do primarily media, but they also will sell vintage toys, mm -hmm. and they had this sitting in there. What and is this, this is the oh. Mattel Shogun Warriors Mazinger. Is this from Voltron? No, it's not Voltron. Oh. It's Mazinger. <laughs> it's <laughs> I don't know what a Ma but They Mazinger had the Mattel is. Shogun Warriors, okay. and there was a TV show that was associated with it that was several different TV shows. Mm -hmm. See, this piece actually goes in here. That's a little escape, a little rocket. Oh. Sits on top of his head. 24 inch tall mm -hmm. uh, action figure and this is the jumbo mm. because they came in several sizes I got smaller ones over here oh you actually got some of these yeah well smaller ones mm -hmm. like these little die cast figures and they came in they came in other sizes Mattel made a bunch and this is the uh, like I said this is the Mazinger Z mm -hmm. and it was part of a toy collection that they had just got he needs to be cleaned up, obviously. He's pretty dusty. He's yeah, missing, he's missing some of his rockets. How many rockets he missing? He should have 14, and I think he has like six. Oh, okay. And this is type one. Mm-hmm. And that's with this big plate on the front. Mm hmm And Mattel had to change it like pretty quickly because it obstructs his arm tic articulation. Oh, it doesn't go all the way yeah, up. Yeah, he won't go all the way up. And they were like, okay, so we'll take this piece off. They retooled his chest, and they made a molded one mm -hmm. that was smaller. And then there's a Type 3 that's the reworked chest, but it has wings. Mm -hmm. And there's a fourth type, and I guess you could call that Type 0. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that was only sold in Japan, and it's got like, it looks kind of like this, but it's a, a gap in the middle. And he still has his swords. Mm. You know, and without getting into like what I paid, I, I got a pretty decent deal on this. Yes. I got a good price. I was like, "How much do you want for that?" And uh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't want to pass it up. I had Mazinger when I was a kid. A kid down the street named Kirk gave it to me, mm -hmm. and it was the Type Two Mazinger, and it only had two rockets, and it was missing the other fist because <laughs> it only had one hand oh. and no swords. But um, it still works. I mean, these things are missile firing. They do like they do launch. Oh yeah, okay. like that. Uh huh. So he just needs some love. You know, I'm a fan of the of the Shogun Warriors line. Now, is he rare? Yeah, these are the Mattel Shogun Warriors. Keep in mind, this is back when kids used to play with toys. Mm -hmm. So, if you look this up, you probably find maybe a half and a half a dozen of these on eBay, and it could be either type one, two, or three, mm -hmm. and they're probably going to be beat up. Sometimes they're in decent shape. Sometimes they've got the box, but yeah, they're pretty tough to come by. They were played with pretty hard. Did this come with the box? Yeah, this came in a in a in a tall box mm -hmm. with. Uh, you know, like a, a shoebox style. Yeah, it would have display lid window. Off, no window. Oh. And it had like kind of a dynamic picture of Mazinger on the front. Mm. Now, just a question, because um, I see you cleaning and you just bought it and it's pretty grubby. Yeah. <laughs> would a soft toothbrush do good? Um, a, you know, just a soft one, not a hard one, but like for the yeah, kids, like soft, a baby one. A soft bristle toothbrush. As long as you don't use it anywhere with this, the stickers, yeah, because uh, this is pretty hard vinyl mm -hmm. for the most part. I'm using a baby wipe right now, mm -hmm. but I mean, because this one fine. has a lot of cracks and crevices yeah, it that the, uh, that that thing there probably won't get in. So I'm wondering, yeah. is it okay to use a, a soft bristle? toothbrush you know then you can just do some some gentle scrubbing yeah I mean that might work as long like I said as long as you don't do it anywhere where the stickers are 
Mm -hmm. you see he's already lost one of the stickers on his knee there. Oh. He had uh he should have one on each knee. And they sell reproduction stickers, but I don't like messing around with reproduction anything to be honest. Mm. And look how the uh they gave him roller skates. <laughs> All of them have wheels on the bottom. Because they really they really only have three points of articulation. Jointed at the shoulders and at the neck. Oh. And I guess you could count the rotation of the hands uh -huh. as a type of articulation but you know now I asked you a question a second ago was oh. this rare and you said yes he's yeah, rare he, now when you is. say rare because you see that word rare that's an abused word thrown around a lot it's a very abused word in and that's a whole different topic of discussion right there see made in Japan you won't see too many toys with that anymore mm -hmm. but um yeah it's a very abused word in collecting, mm -hmm. everything is freaking rare. Pops everything are rare. Is, yeah, pops are rare. Indeed. You know, rare to me means that it's not really that easy to find. Don't say rare, and when I search for it, there's 300 of them on eBay. Like that Henry you know? Bemis by Biff Bang Pow that I can't find anywhere? Yeah, that's on rare. Earth. That's rare. Yeah. That's a rare piece. This, I would, I. I would call this rare. You in in decent condition, rare. Okay. You what about this it. Chuck Norris? Is he rare? That one is very rare. The oh, red ninja. Rare. Uh huh. Yeah. What about this McDonald's playset? Is that rare? Complete, yes. God, Lee, everything you have is rare. <laughs> Are you abusing the word rare? No. Well, you know, keep in mind <laughs> that that that's kind of like my niche <laughs> a lot of the stuff I have in here would be considered rare does it necessarily mean valuable yes but um, it's valuable to me mm -hmm. and uh, rare yeah a lot of this is oh what is this you bought this too this is pretty grubby also yeah it needs to be cleaned up that was in their free box they yeah, have a box at this, there um, place they have like <laughs> three totes uh -huh. And it's full of stuff like this, and it says free, take as many as you want. And yeah. it's random, different things. Yeah. And this is a Batman. Ooh, he looked bad. Look yeah. at his face. He needs to be cleaned up. Let's zoom in. I on grabbed that. him. I grabbed him. It, well, he ended up in the rare box because I don't think that, that somebody made a mistake. Mm -hmm. They don't know what that is. I do. Mm -hmm. That is the Chem Toy Batman. Mm -hmm. And he's right there. Oh, you See, have him? Next, him? Look next oh, to the yeah, 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 yeah. the Dr. Doolittle. That's the packaged version. Oh, okay. But he shouldn't have been in the free box. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> so. But yeah, this, like I said, I had this as a kid. Not this, not version one. I had version two. Uh -huh. It was a gift from some neighbor kid who didn't want it. He was like, yeah, do you want this? You can have it. I was like, sure, I'll take it. And I don't know whatever became of that, mm -hmm. but um, I'm a fan of the Mattel Shogun Warriors line. There's a Godzilla in that line. Was this a cartoon Shogun Warriors? Yeah, there was a there was a show associated with it, and it was an after school program, and it was um, what did they used to call that show? I forget. Every day was a different classic Japanese anime show like one day would be guy Monday would be guy King Tuesday would be Ma Zinger, Wednesday would be um, star zinger something like that and every day was a different one and this it, it was like loosely connected to that and they had a comic book also a very short-lived comic he looks like that guy from Power Rangers no, I mean, yeah, I, I can see where you would say that, but he's not. You know the guy um, that I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, which one? You know how many giant robots Power Rangers has done? Well, he looked like one of them. He looks like one of them, huh? Yeah, they I have don't a know God's, which one. A Godzilla in this set. set. The Godzilla is like this tall. Are you going to try and collect this whole set? I wish I could. If I, if I can get them all, I would take it. Would this be considered one of your grails? Yeah, this for me this would be like a childhood grail, even though I've got to find the other Mazinger. But I'd like to have all four versions. Oh, really? Yeah, and I would take them loose. You know, they don't have to be in the box. They don't as, have to be complete as, either, as I see. As long as they're... Well, 
as you were like picking on me about with things being rare, um, you don't find this every day, and especially not for the price I found it for. Mm. I got a I got a pretty decent deal, so I was I was happy. So it sounds like you're gonna keep this for your personal collection. Yeah, I mean I could flip this, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> this is um. <laughs> This is, you know, the collection always comes first. Yeah. Even when I was, like, selling a lot back in the 90s, the collection was always first, and that's kind of why you do it, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I would, um, I'd love to get all of these again. That's all of the small ones. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, no, that's Mazinga. They call them Mazinga there. Mazinga or Mazinger. But... All of the die cast. I have three of the die cast ones, the short ones. And I don't have any of the mid size ones or the jumbos. You see how they just, his uh, girdle is just like a sticker. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to see, show everyone what you picked up because you were really excited about it. I was surprised you to see. You saw it in the store. Yeah, I was surprised to see it at all. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, you just don't you just don't run into this kind of stuff that often. Okay. So I was like, yeah, just take them home, clean them up, show them some respect. Yeah. Find a spot for them, maybe. Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> yeah, where are you gonna put them? Space is always an issue. Yeah, space is limited. Mm-hmm. But maybe I can find some of the... You, you find these rockets sometimes. See what these, the rockets uh, look like. Yeah, these, uh, these little rockets. And they fit... He's got them uh, on his legs and his shoulders. They, the same one they goes on his legs? In. Yeah, they fit everywhere. Oh, okay. They fit all the way around. And it's just okay, like... Okay, so it's not different sizes. Yeah. And the, the same rockets also fit into the fist launcher. Uh, so everything is compatible. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? No, I mean that's that's about it. Just had a had a good um, a good day hunting, if you will, because <laughs> it, it's not always that easy. You know, mm -hmm. most of the time you go to places, it's all new stuff, it's all modern stuff, or it's really overpriced, or you know, but every once in a while you get a break.